Hey, welcome back. So, um, just a little teaser of the next video to come. I've got a light beam AC. We've looked at the light beam M5, but uh, we're going to put this guy together. We're going to hook it up, do an upgrade, talk about applications. That's coming. What this video is going to talk about is just a couple of quick things. Now, you, you always uh, hear me or other people talk about you know, we mount these devices outside, and I did a you know a video on on the uh, the surge suppressor that goes in line. But then we talk, uh, we haven't really talked too much about tough cable. So tonight I wanted to just spend just a couple minutes talking about this. Uh, before we get into that, a few more things. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you know, we are this weekend planning on shooting shooting these uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of them and I think I'm gonna make a clock out of this guy and then I'm gonna give the clock away does anybody use traditional clocks anymore I do I love an analog clock so we're gonna do that with one the other one we will attach some motors to it send it up and then shoot what's left of it I do have the RF elements uh, twist lock adapter and uh, feed horn I have a meeting with them uh, on my lunch break tomorrow just talk on the phone about uh, how we're gonna make a video on that and then people have been asking me about Microtech and um, you know I've never used Microtech but somebody's like hey you wanna wanna do some Microtech and I say yes and the next thing I know uh, these are showing up at my door so uh, there's gonna be videos on these the first device is this HAP light and when we get to the video um, I'll explain what it is I'm not really a, you know hundred percent sure so I know it's uh, it's an access point it's lightweight and then the other piece of hardware that showed up um, and if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter you would have seen uh, the pictures of this but this is uh, this is a router board box and I think that this is akin to the uh, the Edge Router X. So we'll get these guys plugged in, get them configured, see how they work. Um, they both came with uh, level uh, 4 software licensing. And I don't know if I've talked about it, but I'm not a huge fan of charging people for the features and, and things like that. So let's talk about Tough Cable. What is Tough Cable? I've got a little piece here, and I use the Tough Cable uh, Pro, not the carrier. Uh, my, you know, my runs don't demand um, the extra anti-crosstalk divider and, and things like that and uh, the extra braided shielding. So this is the Pro, and so it's got this um, UV weatherproof jacket on the outside. Then on the inside, it's got a foil shield. It's got an ESD drain wire. Um, it's got the uh, insulation. And then when they say conductor, that means the actual um, individual wires or conductors. And then it's got the rip cord. So we'll uh, take this piece of wire apart here in a minute so you can see that. Um, now it does have the, uh, the tough connectors to go with. And I do use tough connectors too. And I don't know if you can see this guy. But this is what a tough connector looks like. And it's got a solderless... Um, connector here for the ESD drain wire, which is fantastic. You just slide the little guy through there and crimp it on there. No soldering. So you can really go to town and deploy these things very quickly. Now they're not as cheap as standard RJ45s, but if you're doing professional installations, don't don't you know don't skimp out on you know quality product. And I'm not saying you have to use the ubiquity. I just use ubiquity everything. That way if there's ever a question you know, I know exactly where the parts came from. So you can take a look here on their website, ubnt.com slash accessory, accessory slash tough cable. The TC Pro is, uh, and the carrier are both uh, category 5E. The carrier has the anti-crosstalk divider and the braid shield, but they both have the, um, the foil shield. And then here you can see that RJ45 is just showing you, and then here's the other one that actually has the ground connector on it, and we do use those too. So real quick, let's uh, let's open up this piece of tough cable, 
And if you've seen my tools of the trade uh, video, I got my little uh, wire. I don't even know. The, the name for this thing is insanely long, but it works like a clothespin. You put it on there. You spin it a few times. Now this is going to take a little bit longer because this jacket's a lot tougher than, uh, you know, your standard Cat 5. And when we roll this guy back, I mean, you can see how difficult it was for me to pull that little bit of jacket off there. So here's that rip cord, and that's uh, that's garbage. So uh, we'll get rid of that guy for now. I mean, it's garbage for our application. That is what I meant. So then you've got this nice blue. Um, this is that uh, foil shield. So then when we start uh, peeling this back. Peel that foil shield off there. So, and I'm uh, there are videos out there how to terminate this, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one too um, as soon as I get my office rearranged and I can get some nice close-up shots. But here's that foil. Then the cable has this uh, other um, plastic around it. Here is the ESD drain wire, and that is what I was the part that I was talking about goes in this little solderless connection here. It goes in this little solderless connection you crimp it and and then you, it's it's done so you peel that guy back and then of course you the plastic stuff is a nightmare to deal with so and then of course you've got here's your pairs of conductors so a pair is two so um, if you've got any questions about tough cable about grounding how i do it how we do it why you should do it you should always do it but if you've got any questions about you know the tough cable um, you know like I said there will be a termination video coming out so um, and ubiquity has one on their uh, channel where they um, they do the uh, tough cable carrier and that braid on the outside cracks me up watching <laughs> watching those guys do that also you know, speaking of these AC devices and everything that goes along with them, I've got a lot more to show you than just this one device. But uh, when we start talking about, um, you know, not everybody's like me or other installers and use these for point to point. You know, a lot of this gear is sold to be CPE or, you know, customer premise equipment, um, you know, for WISPs. And a WISP is a wireless ISP. And... Um, there's one um, podcast in, uh, on YouTube that I really enjoy listening to, and it's called The Brothers Wisp. And they have a, they have a website, it's thebrotherswisp.com. And then they also talk about, you know, they actually have video links here to their their podcast and if you want to know what it's like to run a wisp you know everything that's involved in it hop on over to the brothers wisp and and subscribe and listen to those guys uh, this is it for now we are going to get to some of those technical videos here uh, look for a lot more videos starting to come out um, here in the next few days if you like this video give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share and we'll see you soon